Alright, so today we have another GSEP video. This week is all about the GSEP. <laughs> Alright, so what I wanted to do is something that has been requested on this channel and I've seen it on other websites and it's pretty cool. I, actually, I've seen it before the request came in and I was thinking how to achieve it. So obviously gsap is the best option you can do it with just plain javascript but why would you when you have gsap right and to be honest i'm not the best at javascript but anyway yeah let's get into it all right so let's say you are in the page that you want to add your animation yeah so uh, what you will do basically is add a new html widget on the page where you want this animation to happen but you have to keep in mind that this animation needs scroll space so make sure that you have enough space on the top and on the bottom so this effect takes place all right so what are we gonna do now is basically drag in a html tag here uh, html widget right here i already have one but let's just say for the sake of this video that we don't have one so, oops, so I just added one and what I'm going to do now, I will just add the, the CSS code in here. That's it. And the GSEP will come later on at the bottom of the page. And especially if you have more GSAP codes uh, that, for example, in, in this case, I have GSAP for this effect then you can combine them but it uh it's very you need to know a little bit what you're doing let's just say that all right let's say in this case um okay let's add our css so i just dropped my css in here fix it up a little bit and yeah this is the code for the css and the html of this circle so let's have a quick look Okay, I already have my GSAP in, so this works already. Let's go back to our HTML for the GSAP. So this uh, widget is already present on my page. So this widget I already have because as I said earlier, we already have an effect that is taking place on the page, which is this effect. So if you have seen two, weeks ago I have posted a video where this effect is being explained <laughs> anyway so let's go back to the HTML and I've combined as I said earlier I've combined my GSAP so I don't have too many containers with different codes on the page but this is because this gsap is very easy to combine in the sense that we have scroll trigger for both effects and obviously we have the cdn for our gsap basically this part here is the code that does the magic for us so let me explain a little bit what is happening here as you can see we are calling here the class of the element that is the dot and it doesn't show here because gsap is not rendered on in the editor only on the preview uh, and as you can see here we have it styled with css i uh, will come back to this later on but let's go a little bit back to the html all right so the x percentage minus 50 and y percentage minus 50 is basically the shape of, of the dot it's set to these percentages or percent because it is the size uh, that is set for the start of our object I hope it makes sense all right so the trigger is our block basically the block being the section in which this is the block this is the block uh, the section that we have our element and it starts at the top so once it reaches the top of the block it starts growing and then it ends at the when it reaches 100 percent so basically that's it there's nothing else that you need to worry about here you don't have to change absolutely anything go back to our css 
So here, it's a little bit difficult to style it because you don't really see it the way it looks on the preview page. But let me just tell you. So basically, if you want to change the color of the background, of the object, of the circle, you change it here. So this is where you would change the color. Yeah. And then basically, these sizes are the sizes of our uh, circle. Let's go back and have a look. And yeah, you can change that, those there. Basically, the, the size that the, the circle grows to. All right, so that's pretty much it. That, there's like nothing much to say. I will simply delete this. All right, so don't mind this. I will delete them in for the Notion file. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video, and I'll see you next time.